So hello there, my name is Lanius and today I will be taking a look at Nitrux OS which is a Debian based Linux distribution which is quite interesting I've used it for quite a moment I mean in the past last year basically and I written something about it on my site quite recently and and I guess I will be talking more about it after we go through the installation. I mean, Nitrux is really interesting because it has some special approach to even the desktop itself. It is highly customized plasma. They also have their expected workflow uh, with app images and generally they do a lot of things in their own way but let's go through the installer which is also pretty customized as you can see because basically it's calamaris but it doesn't look like it and even though it looks really nice it has little problems too I mean when I started it it defaulted to Polish language which is correct but I wanted to change it to American English so that you know you understand what's going on in the process <coughs> and you know it's not really that easy it scrolls really fast you cannot search here nothing happens so it's maybe I'm a little peeking at this but it could be better you could at least have search if it's already so customized why not but the real problem happens if you start to mess with some of these settings I mean maybe not exactly these but okay let's say mm, okay the time zone is automatically set correctly so I, I actually don't need to mess around here but it's maybe it's not really that bad but what I found really confusing when I tried to go back the next then I cannot go back to you know choosing uh, like not Europe for example let's go with this and the same thing is with the keyboard but it's maybe not really a big deal but for some reason I wanted to choose other keyboard because I was installing on a, a ThinkPad and I thought that maybe I should choose other keyboard and I chose the wrong one and in the end I just exited from the installer and started it again because I couldn't go back so that's a little thing to think about but it's not really a big deal because actually you unless you use some special keyboard setup like I don't know Dvorak, Cormac or whatever it is you can safely just go with the default and then customize it uh, in the system after installing it so Oh no, my 
really secret password was just leaked which is also a little weird I mean I guess their thing is that they're making a distribution that could work really well on mobile devices too so that is their thing but I don't really think that that this showing of the letters of the password was a, re a big thing and I don't know I'm, I'm already very like critical but it's not that I don't like Nitrux I really like it but what did I do I wanted to erase swap to file XFS <coughs> also they use XFS and not betterFS which is uh, like the go-to system which isn't bad or anything but I find it interesting <coughs> also I see there is some interesting things happening here like how it's partitioned maybe I've made a too little disk for it but let's go and let's install okay <coughs> so as I said I'm <laughs> kind of critical about it but it's not that I don't like Nitrux I find this really interesting distribution with interesting approach which is like they're based on Debian they pull some of the packages from Ubuntu I mean specifically KDE Neon which is based on Ubuntu they don't use systemd and they are uh, and the expected way the supported way of installing new programs is app images and a secondary way is flat packs and since this release you could also install some packages with pkcon which is a uh, like uh, command line interface to package kit which is really awful I really didn't like it and now it is not supported because Nitrux became a immutable distribution which I think is quite mm, good idea if this is what they wanted like oh well a few moments later this happens every time I want to make a quick video give it more course let's do this like that maybe I shouldn't be so mean to Nitrux and at least wait for it to install <laughs> a few minutes later Maybe this time we'll have more luck. So let's choose the language. Uh, here it is. Next. 
next next and over again Erase disk next install install now. Hopefully it will work this time. It seems to be moving like beyond what failed last time. And I thought for a moment that I would install it beforehand and just talk about the distribution itself, not go through the installation. And I should have done that. But no, I decided to pick at the installer, which is fine. It's a tiny little thing. I want to really take a look what changed in the system and yeah I was talking about uh, package management so it doesn't mm, su support uh, the regular package manager anymore so the expected software sources are app images flat packs and distrobox <laughs> i also want to check if i could mm, make use of linux brew for example because it could be a mm, kind of good way of installing some uh, command line programs which are not really Hmm. Uh, available often as app images or as flat packs and even though I was quite not very hmm, convinced to brew homebrew or Linux brew but it's pretty okay. I actually use it for like literally one uh, program, one tool I sometimes use at work. And I guess Brew is nice it, in the way that it has a lot of uh, packages needed for development in various languages, mainly. I mean, main, what is mainly important are some just developer tools. Because you know, it's basically made for macOS. And if someone on macOS uses Homebrew for something, they're probably a developer. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think this time it worked. All done. So I think we'll be finally able to get into the system. So I've said it doesn't use systemd, it uses openrc. Okay, so let's configure the desktop. Mm. I mean, it's not really what I meant. Display settings. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see there is this quite interesting layout like the global menu is here window buttons are here it's pretty nice actually after I even stopped using uh, Nitrux I've actually installed this uh, plasmoids like the plasma widgets or however you call it on my other system I mean on dev1 and yeah one of my points I had kind of against uh, Nitrux is that they base of Debian and they don't use systemd but there is a Debian fork which doesn't use systemd so it would make a lot of sense to base of dev1 instead because you will already have all the like openrc services available in the repository but now since they are uh, no more like supporting uh, installing uh, through the regular you know uh, uh, through the regular package manager it doesn't really matter so so yeah I'm really interested with this so this is the root file system it's interesting how it's mounted here it's home so home mm, I believe it's not immutable here is here are the app images and here are the flat packs so one thing is Etsy also immutable so this can be quite problematic okay that's weird oh it tried to <laughs> execute the accession okay I guess I couldn't even save it because it's owned by the root also it's it's the Maui applications Maui apps their own set of applications like the uh, file manager which looks pretty nice but when I install it outside of plasma on my slackware xfc it wasn't really looking that great but here it looks really nice of course nothing is there <coughs> okay one thing i want to take a look out of the bat is the terminal I already checked it they use a uh, power level uh, 10k which is a uh, like ZSH theme ZSH prompt which is really really good I use it myself of course it's also ZSH which is quite nice they don't have NeoFetch and you're not getting NeoFetch because they're, you know, it's immutable <laughs> anyway so what I wanted to test um, is 
So of course, oh, where is the software center? It's here. No, it's not the software center. Where is the software? This is the software center. It's nice. It has like very um, similar uh, looks to the uh, file manager here. So why my icons like doesn't work there? Let's open it again. They work just a moment before. Weird. This might be of course some VM shenanigans. So mm. So I mm, As far as I know this uh, this store this application store only supports app images and the flatpak support is only like limited um, to just you know having flatpak installed on the system and configured to use flathub so that's something i guess so what okay I've installed this uh, image viewer but what I wanted to say is that uh, app images have this problem that there are some you know like app image stores but they have pretty ancient software there i mean there are some that are updated but a lot of them is just really old and if they even work they are like mm, a security problem what version is this it's some ancient ungoogled chromium you don't want to use it so in my opinion they should also uh, include flat packs here just to make this store like more useful in my opinion or use uh, the software, the app images store provided. Uh, let me see. I don't remember exactly, but there is this developer who, uh, yeah, who has this like app image package manager but i'm not going to talk about it this time but mm, let's go to github because he has his like uh, app image uh, store linked there oh it's here app image catalog And let's see if is it <coughs> even here so it's not but you know uh, I wanted to look at the version because actually mm, 
Okay, then life is provided as an app image by KDE itself. So, but I guess I don't know if I'm missing something. But I mean that maybe more app image sources should be used. But also, like in principle, app images are not a good way of being the main source of applications so um, there was some like software store provides an app image that also su supports flat packs so it may be something to try out but as you can see uh, it installs I mean, this is installed. What about the? Okay, it's done downloading, and it should already be here. How is it? Was it called? Uh, X N. It's here. Okay. Mm. Okay. We need is some like image viewer application. Anyway, I really wanted to try this <coughs> because it kind of feels like it could be like better alternative for a software store if you want app images and flat packs but I'm not sure if it works it might not actually be working Oh well. Maybe it is just old there. Let's download it. Mm. App image. Let's see the downloads. Let's move it. Mm. Jesus Christ. I want to move it. Oh, and now there are the icons, which is weird. So let's remove that. It should just but it should just be uninstalled now. And as you can see, it disappeared. So it is pretty, pretty responsive. downloads it seems that it is the same version move here and yeah it's installed now but it doesn't start which is a bummer What happens? And there is some bug in this application. 
I guess, or maybe it doesn't really want to work with the with this system. So anyway, I was quite interested in it and wanted to see how it will it would perform in Nitrox, but I guess it doesn't perform at all. So. So this software store is really nice, but I feel like if it it, it really had some good software sources here, it would be great. But as you can see, there's m quite many really old packages. I'm not sure. Uh, yes, this Firefox is also really old i'm not sure about this one but it's also weird with the size but this one like it's 2019 it doesn't look good okay so but we have flat packs so we can install from flat pack let's go to station which also has some problems and i've just checked because this is this was the thing that made me not use it because as you can see i can have this view let's say i don't know let's do something like this okay and it's lost now that one window but it's not even the worst thing let's say i want to end a session right so i hit ctrl d oh it worked and now now it doesn't and let's say i'm doing something here of course there's no vim there's no nano There's VI. Okay. Now I'm a little surprised. Okay, it looks fine, the path. But there's no VI? Hmm. So I, I guess if it's immutable system, you don't really need to edit like mm, in the terminal because you won't be editing any files on the root file system so you don't need a command editor i guess but anyway let's htop is here uh, what could we open here i don't know let's do less so i have this two um, things let's say this is an editor maybe i'm editing something here I go back there, I go like this and I decide okay, let's exit from this session and it's all gone. I actually have reported this issue but nothing happened to it. <coughs> so okay, let's so uh, Okay. Mm. Let's do flat pack. Mm. What do you want to install? Is Kitty <laughs> in flat pack? A few moments later. 
let's go to brew and let's see if brew is going to brew on nitrox because it could be pretty interesting oh there are taps but of course this throw box is an option which is good but it also has some limitations let's say but brew should be kind of okay okay what's going on here let's install it I was looking already into it a little and I read that on Fedora brew doesn't really work because home on Fedora is symlinked to var slash home and it is an issue there. I was actually pretty convinced that on Fedora, on Fedora silver blue I mean that it's just you know separate partition as it should be but apparently they, they are doing something else there so but here I don't see why it wouldn't work so let it do its thing in the meantime let's try to install kitty from distro box and I will show you what problems there might be mm. I'm not sure if the podman is there mm. okay, what's happening Did the VM just hang? Oh well, what happened? Has brew installed? not really sure because for this to work I would need to hmm. let's try that again so it shouldn't be hmm. supported images not managers oh 
Okay, it's here. <clears throat> okay, it's this. I don't really remember the commands for this throw box. I'm not sure if it's even doing anything there. nice that the all the like dependencies of this robux are already there so there's podman there's nothing you need to do you just need to know how to use uh, this robux and nitrox has a mm, guide on their page mm. <coughs> but I have any complaints here other than app images even though they are great as they are they're not good like primary software source There was some mm, command to run because I wanted to try to install some graphical application. Let's mm, okay. install Kitty. Okay, I forgot. And I cannot do exit now because this will die too. Or maybe I can. Let's see. Okay. So I've installed Kitty. I will check the command I need to mm, run if I need any okay let's try Was a mm, command to export. <laughs> oh, okay, that's right. So box enter arch box strobe box export help. App Kitty. 
So is Kitty here? Yes. So now we're cooking. But the little problem here. Oh, it worked. Mm. Okay, let's run this. So there is Z profile. Because it doesn't always use that. Let me just add this. Okay. I mean, I will use this because there's no editor. And with Kitty, problem is that I might not, mm, because it's run from the distro box, so it might not have access to all the programs that are like on the host, but I'm not really sure. Hmm. Of course, there's a lot of like app images. But as you can see, there's nothing accessible. I mean, <laughs> Firefox should probably be there. right but it's not so i will try in a moment after the Novim is installed, I will reboot the system and see if I have it in Kitty. And okay, one other thing that I must say is nice is normally you would have to. Mm, let me show you to add to run this command or add it to your profile or X profile or whatever so that uh, you could run the graphical application basically from this throw box and in Nitrix it just works so they really support the distro box so it's nice but i'm worried if something if there wouldn't be a problem i hinted that so that i cannot really access programs that are installed on the system but maybe with brew it will work because you know if some because like normally we shouldn't be able to even install anything other way you know then brew and it's there so it seems okay okay so now let's exit 
let's reboot and see how will it work now because if in this you know terminal install from arch box i mean from distro box i would have access to programs from brew then i think that it's just okay because i had this quote unquote issue when uh, testing distrobox for the first time that for example when i was, I was uh, using a terminal emulator installed in distrobox not on the host then i didn't have access to um, to any like programs from the host system and it seems that it is the issue because apparently we are in arch now in the arch container am i right Yes, so like anything <coughs> you would want to use, you would need to <coughs> install it, <coughs> Jesus, install it in your distro box. So maybe it's not even that big of a problem as I think about it. Like you have your terminal, you have all your apps in this container. It's actually kind of nice. I mean, I generally, like, I'm moving kind of towards the idea that these immutable systems are quite a something. And maybe, I mean, I was, as, uh, as you have <laughs> probably heard, I was quite skeptic about Nitrox because I already had in my mind what could be not right here what could be missing and after this little fiddling around here i start to think that there might actually be nothing really wrong there but let's but but in this situa situation the better way than you know installing like for example vim neo vim from brew could be to just install it from distro box like in this arch container but i want to try something else and see if some graphical application could actually be okay i just mm, What is wrong here? I have it there. Maybe there is some problem with reading the profile. So I'll just paste it there. And maybe now let's. Uh, enter arch box and this is one nice thing about the power level 10k we have your information that we are in the distro box currently and now let's try to run something from brew it doesn't work I'm not really sure if Kitty even is in Brew <coughs> or if you actually can install like graphical applications from Brew. 
so this might be not really <coughs> a good approach so maybe in the end the <coughs> Nitrux developers got it right and you should use just distro box for your you know uh, console endeavors <coughs> okay there's no EA concern is that if you would want to run some you know uh, services then you I'm not really sure if you can you can do this with this box but maybe it's quite minor issue because as I think about it I could totally use this setup for my development work and also I didn't say a, a word about how nice it looks, right? M mainly because I already used Nitrox before and I already know that it's pretty nice looking, pretty polished in that department. So I wasn't really talking much about it. I only knew what probably is not working because I knew that it wasn't working. and. It's this terminal which is quite irritating because like I guess it's quite important program on a Linux distribution. What is this? What is this? I don't know what uh, What is this program? What is strike? Create new project. Strike is some like... What? It's like code editor, a Maui app. Interesting. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> it's not the point. So the station could be could use some work. I mean, at least make it work like exactly as console for example with no there is no console exactly as console and it would be fine i mean i don't say we'll just copy the console of course it's all different application but at least make you know mm, it respond like to similar you don't know key bindings don't exit from the application when you exit in one of the mm, splits <coughs> it's just you know a little quality of life things that can immediately be spotted <coughs> by someone who is used to just you know using terminal but I'm really surprised how nice actually this Dropbox works here. Like it works out of the box. Of course you need to do some reading to know how to set things up. I mean it's already set up there. But I needed to you know export this application so it was there. But 
other than that it's really great i haven't run new fetch so yeah it shows arch linux also it shows the nitrix kernel which is liquorix and yeah i of course spent way too much time here but i guess maybe i at least had some good points i started a little maybe too skeptical about nitrox that it will will have some problems i think it would it could because my approach was like okay it's immutable distribution so logically it should provide as much software out of the box as it could but on the other hand for like you know regular work like you know not a server or something because these immutable distributions are made to be desktops so for this use case it actually makes sense for it to be quite minimal and then you just install what you need from app images from flat packs and from distro box and i think i'm kind of sold on this idea of course i'm not planning on moving away from slackware but i generally started to like the idea of like having your stuff not really in the root file system but in your home because this way you can easily migrate or I know you break your system like I did and you reinstall then you anyway I already have your things in home including applications like a, a distro box which already has everything you need of course I think you couldn't do or at least not easily is if you would want you know, I don't know another desktop environment I mean you can just install it through distro box <coughs> but then of course in this you know, in this desktop environment installed by distro box you would be limited to only programs from that given distro box but I don't think it's really that big of a problem I mean I thought that it might be the problem but with different approach like it could really work but also if you want to like make like your epic arch i3 desktop or something then why really go with nitrox but maybe having this stable immutable base <coughs> and then on top of it you have your like toolbox <laughs> actually distro box with your you know window manager with your things and if it breaks whatever it breaks the underlying system is still there and it's still working so that might be actually pretty nice and i'm now losing my voice and i'm talking for way too long so that's it for now and see you in the next one Bye -bye.